Good morning. I'm going to call to order the public meeting of the Arapahoe County Board of County Commissioners for January 29th, 2019. To my left is Ron Carl, the county attorney. To my far right is Jolene Sanchez, the assistant clerk to the board. Ms. Sanchez, would you please call the roll? Commissioner Conti? Good morning. Good morning. Commissioner Sharp? Here. Commissioner Holland? Here. Commissioner Jackson? Here. Commissioner Baker? Here. Commissioner Holland, would you please lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance? Please join me. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. <laughs> Mr. Carl, are there any modifications to the agenda this morning? There are no modifications. I would ask the commissioners if uh, there are any questions, concerns about the agenda. If not, I would entertain a motion to adopt the agenda. Mr. Chair, a uh, motion to approve the agenda as presented. Second. Motion made by Commissioner Conti, seconded by Commissioner Holan. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed or abstentions? Seeing none, that motion carries unanimously. We have a ceremony this morning, so I would call uh, Brian Weimer forward and Brian Love. Uh, just come forward, if you would. And uh, I guess there are some, some comments that, uh, Brian, you'd like to make first. Okay, sounds good. Um, Commissioner Holen is the liaison to the Public Works and Development Department this year, so I would uh, ask if he has a motion to make. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, resolution, I'd like to make a motion to approve the following resolution. Whereas Brian Love began his employment with Arapahoe County in September 19, 1989, as an assistant drainage engineer, was promoted to drainage program manager before he left the county in November of 1994 after five years of dedicated service to the county. And whereas Brian missed Arapahoe County after five years with the most uh, recent stint with Excel Energy and began his second round of employment with Arapahoe County on June 8, 1999, as engineer number three, and was later promoted to engineer engineer number two, and was later reported promoted to engineer number three, to the assistant CIP program manager, and then to the CIP program manager in the Department of Public Works and Development, and he has been serving as acting transportation division manager since October 2018 
and will retire on February 1, 2019, after 25 years of combined valuable service. And whereas Brian has always held himself to a high, to high standards and ethics by his example and leadership that encouraged staff and others to follow suit, Brian was, has built a, a reputation among the Board of County Commissioners, Department Directors, Employees, in the industry professionals and citizens as a highly knowledgeable engineer and a leader of integrity who can be counted upon. And whereas Brian has earned the utmost respect and admiration from his co-workers and others by virtue was of his connection with an interest in and a desire to see individuals uh, be their best. While using his leadership skills and his ability to always treat others with respect and even then dealing with the challenges and contentious issues. And whereas Brian will long be remembered by uh, PWD employees and people who worked with, with, worked with for his uh, reliability, professionalism, wit, calm, easy, ongoing manner and approachable professional personality, and the common sense approach to solving and resolving even the most difficult problems and situations. This has earned him the trust and credibility among staff and the professional community, and he, he will all, he will especially be missed by the many who consider him a friend and not merely a colleague. And whereas Brian will also be remembered for his morning uh, touch base discussions with staff daily. These daily coaching and mentoring activities reflect the importance he places in connecting with the staff and for helping them to improve personally and professionally. He was an official mentor for the Leadership Enhancement Development Program, LEAD program, for the uh, Public Works Department and Development Department since its inception in 2014. He is a firm believer of accomplishing more as a team than as an individual, which has led Brian to challenging, encouraging, coaching, and mentoring all to become better and stretch themselves to achieve great things. And whereas Brian will be remembered for his project management skills and successful complete, completing Many projects over his tenure with uh, Arapahoe County, including and not limited to the Jordan Road widening, Quebec Street widening, Arapahoe Road widening, which have left an unwavering difference to our citizens of Arapahoe County and users of these these facilities. Brian has worked tirelessly to reframe and to refine and maintain the procurement process, and contract document document used in the department to obtain and administer contract labor and consulting services. And whereas it is anticipated that Brian will also be extremely missed, the three, the three hours per week he spends serving on the technical review committee in which he proved uh, expert advice, provided expert advice. He will also miss uh, the thrill of reading, reviewing, and articulating the numerous legislative bills proposed by the, by the Colorado House and, uh, and Senate. Good luck with that. Uh, whereas it is anticipated that Brian, Brian's many attributes and his positive attitude will help him to transmission, transition s- smoothly into the next chapter of his life with the recent addition of a gold of a new golden retriever puppy, Camber. Brian will be will have ample time to continue his coaching and mentoring expertise to become an expert dog whisperer. He also uh, he also be be available to enhance his his uh, chief pit crew role, supporting his wife's racing career. Uh, his retirement will also provide him ample time to travel when he is not busy gardening, playing his um, mandolin, and attempting and attending many uh, Rockies games. Let's hope they're better this year. Uh, whereas, whereas while retirement will be the major change in Brian's daily routine, 
especially arriving at work at 6 a.m. It is anticipated he will quickly transition to and uh, forget about work and devote his efforts and energies to other passions, including his wife, Linda. Whereas Brian will be truly missed by the many good people employed by Rappo County, and the void he leaves will be tremendously hard to fill. Now, therefore, be it resolved by the Board of County Commissioners of Arapahoe County to officially recognize the contributions of Brian Love as made as a valued, valued employee of Arapahoe County and whereby declare this, his future shall prosper as Arapahoe County has under his dedicated service and commitment. Thank you very much, Brian. I'll second that motion. Motion made by Commissioner Holen and seconded by Commissioner Sharp. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? I don't think so. So that motion carries unanimously. Would you like to say a few words, Brian? Yes, I would. Um, Brian Weimer, Public Works Director. Uh, first, I want to thank the board for uh, the ceremony recognizing Brian for his dedicated and stellar service over to Arapahoe County for one score and five years. So <laughs> you can look that up. Um, as he is very deserving of that. Um, many of us are guilty, and I'm that one, of not saying thank you enough and recognizing the contributions of people. So the ceremony is just in a small way to say thank you and what that appreciation is. Um, since Brian announced his retirement uh, roughly 30 days ago, something like that, um, I've had mixed emotions. Uh, one of those emotions was, wow, there's joy and excitement for this new beginning for Brian. The other emotion is an emotion of loss. And as he can attest, one of the first things I said, the only thing I said was, wow. That wow was for, how do I fill this void? A wow for, who do I now assign these most difficult projects to and delegate those challenges to? <laughs> and then, well... I'm going to be missing a colleague, a confidant, a friend, and being able to talk everything from puppies and cars to NEPA and construction specs, as well as having those meaningless trivia contests at our staff meetings. So those are all things that will be missed. You know, Brian, um, as was said, was a two-timer. He missed us. You know, first round was the drainage program manager. Second round in the capital improvement program. Uh, he and I worked from the beginning of that time. We had projects such as Orchard Road, Big Dry Creek Bridge, which never got built. Some of you maybe remember that, uh, maybe because of challenging times with the city of Greenwood Village at that time. Carrying through Wabash and Cherry Creek Bridge up in Commissioner Jackson's area that wouldn't have moved forward unless we condemned against the city and county of Denver, which was a unique thing, but it got done. And then finally ended with the Arapaho Road widening project, all of which I think leave that indelible mark on Brian's legacy here with the county. Um, through all these projects, though, I've come to admire several qualities. Those qualities were he remained calm no matter what the situation was. He stayed focused on what that task and what the end point was. Had a sense of humor and a dry wit toward handling these things, and I think doing what is right, even when the right thing is a hard thing to do. So with all those, I admire him, what he was doing for us. You know, Brian is technically proficient in what he did, but I think his strongest attribute is his ability to connect with people. 
Let it be staff, let it be contractors or consultants, let it be the public. That's where he shined in terms of what he was able to do. And I think the folks over here are attributed or attest to that as under his guidance and leadership, they have all grown. And for that, I thank Brian. I hope he's proud of that. And I think Arapahoe County should be thankful for those type of contributions. You know, we're going to miss Brian, of course. Um, but he's only retiring, right? Uh, nonetheless, I know he's not going to go on a ukulele world tour as far as I know. Not no. at this point? Okay. Maybe as you, as you uh, practice a little more. There's no demand for that. <laughs> so I expect to see him around. You know, certainly on puppy play dates with my golden retriever. Um, I think maybe a lunch or two at Amigos. Uh, maybe a Rockies game, and maybe I'll run into you at a James Taylor concert. <laughs> Red Rock, Around. which we have done before. But most, you know, so, so for me, I want to give a big thank you to Brian um, for all he has done for Arapahoe County, Public Works Department, and me personally. Uh, Brian is a great colleague, a friend, and I wish him the best and a long, happy retirement. So with that, the Bryans, the Brian B2s, the B-square era of Rappel County Public Works is done. But in true Public Works fashion, I raise a glass and say, dilly dilly. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Brian, would you like to come forward and say a few words? Sure. Um, I didn't really prepare too much today. Um, I'm saddened that my wife couldn't be here. She has another commitment, but she will be. We're having a little cake ceremony at our office on Thursday, and she will bring the puppy to that. Aww. So that's my strategy to get people to show up. <laughs> there you go. So I just want to thank the county, the board, Public Works, and Brian Weimer for all the opportunities I've had throughout the years. It's been great. And um, I like how Arapahoe County empowers its employees to do a lot. And one thing that always comes to mind is an example Brian Weimer knows about. Um, I was at a meeting with another agency, I won't say their name, um, on a project. And it was me, somebody from CDOT, and one person from our consultant. The other agency had 15 people there. And I was able to do everything with 15 people do. And that's the example of how efficient and how we're empowered to do all this. So again, I just thank everybody for the opportunity to do that in today's ceremony. Thank Thanks. you. You have to stand there while we say a few words. Okay. Commissioner Sharp first. Um, I just have to thank you. You you are a very calm, easygoing person. And I think in the world of uh, transportation and traffic projects, that is a required skill because they take working with now we we work together with so many different um, organizations to get a project done um, and they don't always move at the pace that we would like to and so I have really appreciated everything that you have done for Rappo County and um, it, we'll miss you and um, thank you for your and calm and easygoing manner um, makes a big difference and your knowledge and expertise on all these projects that's really important and um, the Arapaho I-25 I thought I would never see that project um, happen in my lifetime so I'm so glad that we got it done and on time on budget those are the most important things too when we work on a project for our taxpayers so thank you very much and have a wonderful time I've had golden retrievers and they are the yeah. best so I'll be there to see the puppy. Okay, good. I might, I don't know, you might not have him. I might sneak him away. <laughs> yep, it's, it up. it's either going to be really fun or a total disaster. Yeah. <laughs> Which, <laughs> Commissioner Jackson. Thank you. Thank you. Um, and 
of course, I echo the thank yous, but um, I really noted um, when listening to the resolution with what warmth it was written. And, um, it, you know, we read these from time to time, but yours really struck me um, and how warm the person who wrote it was feeling towards you. And I, um, as, as I listen to the words and I hear Brian and I've known you for a while, um, that that's really emblematic of you. And I'm afraid that sometimes engineers are stereotyped as kind of cold and unfeeling folk. And it, it, anything could be further from the truth. And um, I just want to say I, I really do appreciate um, our public works department has a wonderful reputation and you're part of it. And um, I, I also like what Brian Weimer said about you're leaving a lasting legacy in concrete, literally, um, in this county. So um, I just want to add my thanks and my good wishes for you in the future. And um, although I'm not really a dog person, I do like gold, golden retrievers. I think they're very sweet. And so um, I'm going to try and make it um, to visit with your puppy. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Mr. Holland? Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, Brian, what's, what's so impressive about your commitment to the county and the, the fact that you really took a leadership position within the, the Public Works Department to really mentor and, and help bring along your, your uh, uh, colleagues uh, to a, a vision that uh, we all share, and that is first in, in, uh, in service. And I, I think that, um, you know, I've been involved for a long time in the political process, and we, we who are in public service don't really have the opportunity to have the kinds of concrete leg legacies that, that engineers like yourself uh, leave to this uh, to this county. I think what's important is is for all of us to realize that it, it is a very complicated, very difficult, multitask responsibility to design and implement. Uh, and, and coordinate and collaborate with a variety of organizations, as I'm sure you you have experience, and to do it, do it with a calm and, and uh, committed and intelligent uh, uh, level of uh, management. And, and you're, you're, you reflect the best of the best, and we really wish you the the, uh, the best in your retirement. And um, I'm I'm not a I, I'm a Chesapeake Bay Retriever Man myself, but uh, they're all loving dogs, so thank you. Thanks. Commissioner Conti. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Uh, Brian, I, there's not a whole lot left to be said, <laughs> truthfully, uh, but the accolades continue to flow, not only for you, but for all those in the Public Works Department and all that you guys do. Uh, you are an incredible team, of which I think you were an incredible leader for. And we want to thank you, uh, honor you, and uh, give you the uh, respect that you're due, especially on this day, uh, as we celebrate a bittersweet uh, opportunity and, and event of your, you know, leaving the county. Uh, we know that you're going to have a great time, no matter what you embark on, uh, but you will be missed. And so thank you for your service. And um, uh, as a taxpayer and a recent taxpayer, and, you know, just in that role, I just want to say that on time and under budget, Thanks. good job. Thanks. Thank you. And I'll just add my thank you. And, you know, we go back and we worked with each other quite a bit before I was in this position. And, and uh, I owe you as, as many thanks as your coworkers in PWD. So from facilities and fleet management, uh, the help that you gave to us in that role, we appreciate it as well. We are going to um, send you off with a standing ovation. And then we're going to take a, small, a short recess and um, retire out to the, um, not retire, but go out to the, um, the emblem out on our wall and have a photo op at that point. I did want to say that even though we can't do a Brian Love Day, um, we're going to celebrate you all day today. Okay. So thank you. Best of luck, Brian. And we'll take a short recess for a photo op, and we'll be right back.
send all of you a picture of your puppy, so that'll be our uh, uh, email. I was going to say, if, if there's anything I can talk intelligently on, it's puppies. So, <laughs> there you go. Maybe not Rose. All right. Thank you, everyone, for indulging us. This is the time that we've set aside for citizen comment. Citizens are invited to speak to the commissioners on any non-agenda items. There would be a three-minute time limit per person. If there's any citizens here that would like to address the Board of County Commissioners on anything that's not on the agenda, if you'd make yourself known to me. Seeing none, the citizen comment period is closed. And we have our consent agenda. Have all the commissioners been able to review those items? And if there are any questions, comments, or concerns? I move approval of the consent agenda. I'll second that. Motion made by Commissioner Holland, seconded by Commissioner Jackson. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed or abstentions? Seeing none, that motion carries. We did not have any minutes to approve this morning. Okay. So we are on to our general business items. We do have two public hearings. This is a continuance of the public hearings for Main Street Villas. Um, there's a minor subdivision, case number PM18-004, and there is a SDP, uh, um, case number SDPZ18-001. Um, that we're going to reopen. Our presenter this morning is uh, Kat Hammer, Catherine Kathleen Hammer. Our attorney on this matter is Robert Hill, Senior Assistant Public. Um, county Attorney. Uh, Mr. Hill, would you please um, comment on our uh, 
ability to proceed. Yes, thank you, Mr. Chair. This, uh, both these, um, the plat and the SDP were noticed for public hearing two weeks ago. The board opened the public hearing, convened, took testimony, and then continued it, time date certain, to today. Um, the purpose of the continuance related to two issues that were presented relating to a um, um, contribution or construction of a sidewalk um, for the uh, development, as well as the um, to recalculate the payment in lieu of, of, of dedication, cash in lieu, um, to um, address a tract in the subdivision and whether that would be used for public purposes and therefore subject to the calculation. Uh, the board's determination was direction to staff to come back and um, revise the proposed conditions. Uh, we revised the condition regarding the cash in lieu um, to what the applicant had asked for to cut out one half of the tract, which will be used by a library. Relative to the sidewalk, the applicant asked, um, has made a couple of requests regarding it, but one that the board directed staff to come back and revise was that if applicant is to uh, contribute money to the sidewalk, if in the event the sidewalk is not commenced or construction of it is commenced or something that will connect to it and there's no need, there will be a, no need for a sidewalk within 10 years that the money be returned to the applicant. I have revised the um, conditions of approval, at least the draft conditions of approval to reflect those two points for the board. Um, I do believe that the board left the public hearing open to address those points. Um, and so the board has jurisdiction to proceed. This has been noticed properly from the last meeting continued to this meeting, and we're ready to go. Thank you very much. Good morning, Ms. Hammer. Good morning, commissioners. Um, I am just gonna was going to reiterate what um, Bob Hill had said. Um, the one thing I did want to add is that the Engineering Services Department did do a cost estimate on that sidewalk, and it's um, approximately $58,000, and that's just an estimate. So I did want to include that. Um, $5,800, pardon me. Yes, $5,800. <laughs> I'm going to get that corrected. Thank you. <laughs> um, one other note that I did want to mention is that the applicant has stressed to me that they um, are still requesting a waiver from the sidewalk, and they would like to see a note that is similar to a note that was on Bijou Knowles, which is just south of the property. Um, the note in short says five feet on one side of and within the right-of-way designated for South Main Street shall be reserved for the construction of a walkway at no cost to the county. The applicant will be obligated to construct a walkway upon the request of Arapahoe County and at the time of construction of a similar walkway along South Main Street from Front Street to 4th Street. Um, staff has a few concerns with this approach, and I just kind of wanted to get them out on the table there. First, the development that PG Knowles is, is different in character. It's much more rural. The lots are anywhere from 1.5 acres to um, three or four acres, I believe. And um, it, it includes 60 or 50 single family homes and is more rural in nature and kind of, um, it doesn't connect to anything to the south. And we don't know, it's hard to estimate when that development to the south is going to occur. So it's, def it's definitely more rural in character and density. And another issue with the note is um, it might be hard for the county to enforce a note like that that is on a specific development plan. Um, what if the applicant is no longer um, around or the um, LLC is no longer around? So there are some con concerns about enforcing and collecting money at that time. Um, I stand for any questions, and I know that the applicant is here as well. Any questions for staff at this point? Thank you very much. We may have questions later, I'm okay. sure. But we'll go ahead and have the applicant come forward. And if you would, state your name and address for the record. Good morning, Commissioners. Stephanie Stewart, and I am with Bijou Knowles, LLC. My address is 9380 Station Street, Suite 500, Lone Tree, Colorado, 80124. 
Um, and I appreciate the time in front of you. We have a, a whole entourage here for this um, single issue that remains. Um, in looking at the motion, um, the draft motions on both the SDP, <laughs> SDP and the minor subdivision, we are in agreement on the cash and lieu um, calculations that have been presented. Uh, we also see that you have um, presented a 40-foot height limitation, which is what we've asked for, and we're in agreement on that. So it seems we are down to uh, the sidewalk, and um, we really, truly do believe that it is a life safety issue, and it's a, it's a sidewalk that won't attach to anything else. Uh, as you heard, the library um, is also of the same opinion that they're going to request a waiver of the sidewalk. So were there any public... Uh, you know, public congregating concern that, that, that the library might want it. Um, I heard to the contrary, they, they also would like to be released from this obligation. So uh, we are of the opinion that we should track um, the language that was in the Bijou Knowles, um, uh, I guess it's the general development plan, and just have a note. Um, I think it better protects the county because you have changes in cost. This says this is going to be the obligation of the developer. And um, I think that that does protect the county. Um, but we, you know what, <laughs> we'll talk in the alternative. But if it's really not um, that big of a, a deal to us if we have to put in this escrow as long as it has a, a release date at some point. Um, I think as it's calculated, and as you heard, we have half of Tract A that is actually going to be sold to the library. So um, about 35 square yards, uh, which is a equal to $1,154.45 of what's been requested in the escrow will actually have to ultimately be um, assigned or taken from the library. So if you would also consider in the alternative to not requiring any sidewalk, um, that we adjust that escrow so that it just applies to lot one and half of tract A as we have done with the cash and loo, that would be our alternative request. Thank you. Any questions? Commissioner uh, Sharp. I um, I feel I I guess I'm I am um, in agreement with staff in terms of um, the cash for putting in in escrow the sidewalk. I think the library should be responsible for <clears throat> for their. In any sidewalk in front of their facility, but it will be a public, you know, there will be a lot of people walking there, and I think it's standard to do it this way. So I just wanted to let you know that that would be my uh, position, and I'm glad we were able to come to agreement on some of, some of the other items in here so that you can move forward. Um, so thank you. And you actually raise a Something that I could add on. Um, in the draft motion, we had previously requested that we could put in an alternative um, bid or an alternative estimate to use um, when we're determining the escrow. We we don't have a significant enough savings to overly complicate that. So we are also um, in agreement to use the calculations if, if you were to decide that we need to do an escrow to use the calculations on Exhibit A as adjusted to exclude half of track days. I'll just voice my opinion, too, is that uh, uh, we, we heard from Chuck Haskins, our engineering um, division manager, last time that um, crossing that bridge the first time, it's always difficult. Um, there's no doubt that, that uh, communities are going to grow, and Byers is one of those communities that I believe will have uh, significant growth, and we have to start somewhere with the sidewalks and a public facility, I, I think, is important. Um, there's not a lot of traffic that requires a uh, sidewalk in addition to the amount of shoulder that's available there, but I think at some point we do have to make that decision to start putting in sidewalks, and majority of that I'm sure will fall to the county at one point, but it's traditional that developments and um, new buildings pay for that and pay into that. So that's why I'm in support of that as well. Commissioner Conti. 
Thank you, Mr. Chair. Yes, uh, the phrase, if you build it, they will come, does come to mind. And I'm sure the throngs of public that will utilize that will be a benefactor to both the library and the new villa. So, uh, you know, I'd just like to say that I also am in support of that. So thank you. Any other questions or comments? Thank you very much. And I, I, is there somebody from the library that would like to come forward and talk about that? Okay. If not, then um, the public comment period is actually still open. But I do want to know if there's anyone here that that uh, has not had a chance to send in. And we didn't ask Ms. Hammer, have there been any other uh, emails or public comments come in on this matter from members of the public? No, not since the last um, meeting. Okay. We do have several people. I believe that this is what Stephanie referred to as the people that are here to speak uh, in uh, support of this. Um, and I'm not sure if any of them are real public. I mean, by that I mean citizens that are concerned about this issue or not. We heard from Stephanie. We have uh, Tori Ortiz. Oh, okay. And did, you're in support. Did you need want to come up and speak in support? Okay, excellent. Jennifer Carpenter? Okay. Linda Spees? Okay. Cameron Richards? Okay. Richards. So, is there anyone else from the public that would like to address the Board of County Commissioners on this item? If not, then I am going to close the public hearing and ask if there are any other commissioner comments before I start making motions. All right. This is uh, in the case of in the case of case number PM 18-004, Main Street Villas Minor Subdivision. I have reviewed the staff report, including all exhibits and attachments, and have listened to the applicant's presentation and any public comment as presented at the public hearing, and hereby move to recommend the approval of this application based on the findings in the staff report subject to the following conditions. Number one, prior to signature of the final copy of these plans, the applicant must address public works staff comments and concerns. Number two, Approval of PM 18-004 Main Street Villas Minor Subdivision is contingent upon the approval of SDPZ 18-001 Main Street Villas Specific Development Plan. Number three, prior to the approval of the administrative site plan, the developer shall either A, contribute funds in an amount sufficient to pay for the cost of construction of a sidewalk of minimum width of five feet within and along the full length of the road right of way adjacent to the property shown as lot one and tract A on this SD, on the SDPZ and in the amount of a cost estimate supplied by the applicant and applicable, acceptable to the county and approved by the engineering services department or B Incorporate construction of the sidewalk abutting lot A and tract A in lot one, sorry, thank you very much, lot one and tract A in a subdivision improvement agreement for the project and complete construction of said sidewalk in accordance with that subdivision improvement agreement. If the applicant chooses to contribute funds to the sidewalk in lieu of building the sidewalk, the county shall hold the funds in an account earmarked for the sidewalk construction and such funds shall be available for the county's use for construction of the sidewalk. In the event, however, that the county has not commenced construction of a sidewalk along East Main Street in Byers in the area of this development and that will connect to a future sidewalk along Lot 1 and Tract A, Within 10 years from the date of the contribution of the funds, the county shall return to the applicant the full amount of the original contribution less any accrued interest. Number four, the development shall meet all buyer's fire district design requirements. 
Number five, the applicant shall pay a cash in lieu of public land dedication for lot one and half of tract A prior to recording of the plat in the following amounts. Schools, $3,028.48. Parks, $4,588.80. And other public purposes, $191.20. Lot 2 and tract, I'm sorry, lot 2 and half of tract A are intended to be developed and owned by the library, Arapaho Library District for a public library and as such are not subject to the dedication uh, cash in lieu requirements of the land development code. In the event that lot two does not develop as a library and another use is proposed on lot two, then cash in lieu for said lot two and the half of tract A shall be required and paid in accordance with the applicable provisions of the Arapahoe County Land Development Code prior to approval of an ASP or rezoning of Lot 2. Should I proceed with the... I think we need to vote on that motion. Uh, voting on that, okay. May I have a second, please? Second. Motion made by Commissioner Baker, seconded by Commissioner Conti. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed or abstentions? Seeing none, that motion carries. Okay, I'm going to have to... My little pen doesn't work. It's 105. 105. I'm looking for green. I'm getting there. Here we are. In the case of case number SDPZ 18-001 Main Street Villas, this, the uh, special development plan, is that right? Special? Specific. Specific development plan. I have reviewed the staff report including all exhibits and attachments and have listened to the applicant's presentation and any public comments as presented at the hearing and hereby move to recommend approval of this application based on the findings in the staff report subject to the following conditions. Number one, prior to the signature of the final copy of these plans, the applicant must address public works staff comments and concerns. Number two, prior to the approval of the administrative site plan, the developer shall either A, contribute funds in the amount sufficient to pay for the cost of construction of a sidewalk of minimum width of five feet within and along the full length of the roadway, I'm sorry, the road right of way adjacent to the property shown as lot one and tract A on this SDPZ. And in the amount of a cost estimate supplied by the applicant and acceptable to the county and approved by the Engineering Services Department. Or B, incorporate construction of the sidewalk abutting Lot 1 and Tract A in a subdivision improvement agreement for the project and complete construction of said sidewalk in accordance with that subdivision improvement agreement. If the applicant chooses to contribute funds to the sidewalk, in lieu of building the sidewalk, the county shall hold the funds in an account earmarked for the sidewalk construction, and such funds shall be available for the county's use for construction of the sidewalk. In the event, however, that the county has not commenced construction of a sidewalk along East Main Street in Byers in the area of this development and that will connect to a future sidewalk along Lot one and tract A within 10 years from the date of the contribution of the funds, the county shall return to the applicant the full amount of the original contribution less any accrued interest. Number three, the maximum building height for lot one and lot two shall not exceed 40 feet 
and restricted to three stories. Four, the development shall meet all buyers' fire district design requirements. Second. Motion made by Commissioner Baker, seconded by Commissioner Jackson. Any discussion or comments? Seeing none, um, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed or abstentions? Seeing none, that motion carries unanimously. We want to just say thank you to all of the hard work that has gone into this, the negotiating back and forth, and we we know that this will be a, a big benefit to our the community of, of buyers out there. So we we thank you very much. Um, we are done with the um, public hearings. Are there any commissioner comments this morning? Commissioner Holman. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman. I just like to comment on the fact that. Uh, our federal government is back up and running, uh, hopefully beyond the next three weeks. Uh, I know this has been a burden both on the county, because we depend upon a lot of federal funds that are, are funneled through us. Uh, we, it would have impacted several of our programs, and fortunately um, they weren't impacted because we, we had alternative funding arrangements. Uh, but I, I'm, I wish the best to our federal employees who live in the county. Uh, and all those uh, active duty military and the Coast Guard who uh, we have a large contingency of Coast Guard men and women serving out at Bucky Air Force Base and, and now they'll get paid in spite of the fact that they have to work. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Commissioner Conti. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Sunday uh, marked um, a day to remember uh, Holocaust Remembrance Day, and I just want to uh, bring this up uh, at, at this most uh, immediately following public hearing. Quote from our former UN ambassador, Nikki Haley, today is not a day to remember a terrible time in history. It is a day that we renew our promise to never let something like this happen again. Racism or isolation of a group of people based on religion, skin color, or background needs to be fought every day. Six million Jews were murdered because some chose to look the other way. We must always take a side. Never forget. Thank you, Commissioner Conti. Any? If not, we are adjourned. Thank you very much.